Soul, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we're here in Barcelona. We're here for a big event um, that's going to be going on tonight, competition. Um, you were just competing down in Wadapalooza on a three uh, female three team. team. Yeah. How did that go for you? Uh, it went very well. Um, I competed with girls that I haven't like trained with like on a team. So in terms of communication and stuff like that, it went like surprisingly good. How did that team come together? Was it just the like Instagram friends or? Um, so yeah, I met Brittany, she's my best friend, um, when I came to San Diego like a year and a half ago. So, and we trained together a lot when I'm there. And yeah, we decided to like have some fun. And how, did you have a good time? Yeah, it was really fun. So you've been to the games twice now on teams and you went to regionals last year uh, as an individual. Yeah. And so what, what's kind of your plan now of attack for in this new season format? What's your, what's your what's your game plan going forward? And is is getting to the game still like a primary goal for your training? Um, yes. Um, with all the new things, it's been kind of weird. Like I don't really, I think other people have that problem too. I don't really know like where the focus is right now. Like the first year, they like changed everything. Um, my primary focus now is just competing at the RCC, the Reykjavik CrossFit Championships. Um, as an individual, probably, um, but I have so much fun on the team, and uh, I just I love being on the team, honestly. Um, but it has like its restrictions as well. Like I want to compete individually too, so it's like I don't really know. Trying I'm really to find torn. The best of both worlds yeah. and, and kind of do that. So um, right now, uh, my focus is the RCC individual. Um, but I don't know, if a good team comes up, I have a hard convinced. time saying no. You fair know? <laughs> enough, fair enough. Okay, so um, switching sort of pace a little bit, you've been really outspoken about kind of body image and having sort of an unhealthy relationship with food and the scale. Yeah. And it, where where are you on that journey and what kind of advice do you have for other athletes that are also kind of struggling with some of those things? Um, so right now I'm in a pretty good place, I would say. Um, it's been a struggle, it's been... Um, yeah, I've learned a lot, like with the macro counting and everything. Um, I'm not like I think it's healthy for everyone to like maybe try it so they know what they're eating. But at the same time, it's like um, you never get like a peace of mind. Like I always know what I'm putting into my body, and like it like stresses me out if I ate like I don't know half Snickers or something. I'm like. Um, tearing myself down for that because I know exactly what's in it and how much I should eat and stuff like that. Um, but right now I'm not counting macros um, and I feel very good. Like I'm getting like back in the swing of things just like by eating like normally. Um, and yeah, I think um, it did me, like I'm not saying it's bad, like counting macros, but you have to like keep it in under control. So you recently came off kind of an, in, uh, an elbow injury. Oh yeah. And, and so that kind of limits your ability to train. Yeah. How does that affect your mindset, you know, also with, with, with food too, because you're not perhaps able to train as hard. And so does that, how do you stay motivated in, in, the, in, that, in that injury time to, to get back to where you are? Um, okay, so, well, um, I took the time and I started running a lot. And so, like, like Sarah. Yeah. So focusing on endurance. Endurance, cardio. Yeah. So it took about like maybe four months or something for me to like start doing push-ups and stuff like that again, and like butterfly overhead stuff. Um, I've been taking it slow. Like I've been adding weights like slowly, but I did a lot. I did a bunch of cardio, like when I wasn't able to use my arm. Um, and it like it has helped me now. So n right now um, I'm better at cardio and I'm just like building up strength yeah. again. But it gets in your mind though too because like I'm like 15 kilos away from all my lifts and stuff like that. So, but I'm trying not to think about it too much. Yeah. But yeah. So you just find something else to do. Like work on wh whatever you say. Like work on your weaknesses. Yeah. Like everything you can do. Like yeah. Meanwhile. So what do you, like, advice for athletes? Are the athletes of all different, um, you know, levels, whether they're competitive or just lifelong athletes, go through injuries or nagging injuries or sometimes an area where they can't focus on. You know, what advice do you have for athletes that just kind of 
you know, are, are perhaps struggling through an injury of, of some kind and to A, stay motivated, but also to stay fit in yeah. other ways. What, what would you say to them? Just be, like, be patient. I know it's hard because I've, like, I've been there and you feel like you're not doing anything because you can't do like certain things, but in fact, you can do like a lot of things. You can do so much. So just like be patient, like don't force it, don't nag it, like just be, like be kind to yourself and let it like heal because it'll take more time if you're always like nagging on it. So just like, yeah, find something, like write down what you like you can't do and do that. Don't focus on what you can't do. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much.